today we're getting rid of the pile of leaves. It's already about half gone. So, there's a guy with a trailer who should be coming by soon to take the rest of it. So that's what we've been doing, is just loading it up. Jimmy is still asleep. And my dad is wearing a very bright shirt. Even in the darkness, you can see him. And my sister's going to work. The leaves are gone. Two loads of this trailer to take them away. And that pile of logs is gone. It's in my truck and my dad's truck. And he will come back and get them later. But anyway. So, that's what's happening with that. We're still cleaning up this area. And we painted this with the boom lift, but we can only get to there. Because we had to take it from the other side of the house and go over the house so we can only reach that far. But now we got a ladder. Now we're finishing up the end. And I am making some more burgers because the people who are taking it are helping us, so we're giving them lunch. There goes the tree. Jimmy is here looking for more of my caches. Hopefully he will find the rest of them today. So, yep, this is the house trail because there's houses over there. There's a trail over here. We are here at one of my caches, one of the finals in a series of mine. And Jimmy is over there trying to find it. Look at that smooth zoom. I think he's found it. So anyway, we will, uh, after this, get one more on the way back. Then we need to buy some steaks. And then after that we can uh, go back home. Yep, this is an interesting place. You got a hill coming down, makes a turn, and then there's like a road going down the center of a turn. It's an interesting intersection. Jimmy's gonna log the finds on his phone. Goodbye. Yep, too dark. Anyway, I can just explain what Jimmy's doing. Oh, he did find a place. This is one of my caches which is, uh, I can't say the actual name, but it's basically the essence of geocaching. Like, you know, it's more about searching for the cache rather than the cache itself. So, you know, it's, you know, the scenery, it's about doing crazy things. Like, this is a river, can't tell, but might be able to hear water, listen. So you got water, you've got you got across the river, you're in a gully, surrounded by trees. So the GPS isn't receiving well. Um, it's a camouflaged micro that's not in plain sight. So it's hard to find and there's lots and lots of places to hide it. So it's like very difficult and there's not even anything special once you find it so why would anybody find this? because it's fun to endure all of these things I guess but anyway you're just watching blackness so I will stop and also the instructions on how to get back home I usually just use um, you just navigate to one of your own caches? No, I just... Oh, yeah, I could do you that. You could navigate to unauthorized parking. No unauthorized parking. Oh, I didn't want to say the actual name in the video. Oh. Wait. Oh. Somebody could go skiing from your... <laughs> handle of your bag. 
Oh, anyway, I like to use the maps that I printed out before I got here. Yeah. Like, uh, that goes to your place. And then, um... My place? I just reverse it, you know? Like, instead of west, I go east. Oh, or yeah. Oops. Well, anyway. Bye.